What's good, everyone? Justin here from Bear Coast. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll be talking about Damian Leone's Terrifier 3. Uh, holy shit, what a cool movie this was. I, I'm, I'm still chewing on a lot of it. A lot of it I really like. There's some things I didn't care for exactly. I mean, you know, some, some I guess, changes in the story or whatever. Or not only changing the story, just decisions made and things they did things i don't know if it was cut wrong or what but we'll get into that there will be some spoilers in this video so if you don't want to see spoilers you've not seen the film what are you waiting on go watch the damn thing and don't watch my video but uh anyway terrifier three we've got the return of david howard thornton you know reprising his role as art the clown we've got laura lavera elliot fulham coming back as sienna and jonathan we've got samantha scafidi coming back as vicky uh everyone's back everyone feels a little more fleshed out ready to go um sienna's really damaged her character is just it's kind of sad but still she's very strong in this film uh jonathan is he was kind of not used well we'll get, we'll get a little more than that in a bit uh art the clown a little darker uh they brought him back darker he's still funny he's still got you know his his, his campy shit he does but he's he's darker he wasn't as funny as he was in terrifier 2 his expressions and all that that he does but it's still there. I mean, like you gotta be in the middle of uh, you know getting uh, arms and legs cut off, and he and he's gonna sniff a foot. I mean, you know, to, to bring a little humor to the gore, and it, and it really works out good. The production was really amped up in this film. They had more money to work with, so your blood and gore and all that stuff, man, it is there. It's in your face. It looks freaking real. Um, sorry, the shower scene didn't have shit on the bedroom scene. No. It was awesome. It was it was, it was pretty funny, honestly. Um, there there were scenes in that movie. Everyone talks about the shower scene. It was cool, but I mean, dude, I watch Texas Chainsaw and you know, that mucus corpses and shit and part three that still make me gag worse than that. But um, some other stuff in that film hurt me more than the chainsaw scene. Like I, I, just things that were being done to people and. I don't know, but anyway, uh, all that shit was really good. The special effects, the you know practical effects, the gore. I don't know how much CG was actually used. Of course, there's gonna be some, but uh, no. Hats off, Damian Leone and crew. Good shit. Sound design and the soundtrack, of course, are fantastic. I've been loving that in all these newer horror movies that have been coming out. I'm getting a lot of retro synth and stuff like that goes perfect with with horror films man like whoever figured this out in the last few years in these movies i mean they even throw boy harsher and halloween ends what because they know holy shit this working now this is cool shit so hey yes anyway uh as for the actors and the cast and crew um everyone did really good like i said uh sienna's she, she's kind of fucked up in this movie uh she's been through a lot she sees shit she's not right but she's still strong when she has to be um i guess she's today's uh nancy or Lori or whatever i mean you know she's our final girl right now so <laughs> um excuse me but uh jonathan was not utilized as well he was so like into everything in the first film um and this one he just felt i don't know scared hiding being kind of weird and and i'm sorry spoiler alert here if y'all killed him off screen that's a horrible decision like i really hope that wasn't his head in that container at the end of the film the, the skull because that would just dumb a dumb decision unless Unless you cut it out, and we're going to get an extended cut and see. that. that I mean, Elliot, a.k.a. Jonathan, deserves an on-screen death. A brutal one. Like, sorry, you fucked up there. But, um, yeah. Uh, besides that, um, we lose a little pale girl in this movie. I didn't like that. I think she's an awesome little addition to uh, art. I get that it's an evil fucking demonic entity taking over, you know, whatever she was and then moves into Vicky in this film. But I don't know. It was just cool having a little sidekick like that. But Vicky felt over, 
like I guess the little pill girl does, you know, kind of guide him along. And but Vicky felt overpowering in this movie. So is Art, you know, is he is he the main big bad? Are we not seeing something yet? I don't know. Uh, I got some crazy predictions, but I'm not going to talk about that here. Uh, <laughs> but those are my main two grops about the film. The little Pill Girl Gone and, and uh, the use of Elliot uh, Jonathan. Besides that, it was great. Uh, we had some great cameos in the film as well. Like, I should have talked about this in the cast shit. But yeah, we get... You got, we got, um, uh, shit. My mind went blank. Clint Howard, Daniel Roebuck, and, uh, and pro what, what's probably my favorite scene, uh, is the Santa Claus scene when Art meets Santa Claus, who's played by Daniel Roebuck. They're in a bar, <laughs> him and Clint Howard, and Clint Howard plays Smokey, and they're just sitting there drinking, and dude, Art the Clown runs over these two girls trying to get out, like, just bombards over him to go see he's so excited to meet santa and uh yeah then he becomes santa <laughs> but that was a great scene in the film and another one was jason patrick as santa and jonathan's dad that was a crazy one we left the theater i didn't even realize that was him we were left the theater and um samantha my my partner she was looking uh on IMDb, and she's like, Jason Patrick was in that. And I was like, what? Who? And she was like, he played a character named Michael. And um, I was like, Michael? And then he was the dad. And, the, and, you know, what a nod. A nod to old school horror. And there was what, that was not the only nod. There was a lot of nods in this film. You gotta go Easter eggs all in this thing. This is a love letter to horror. And uh, just really cool. Really cool. I'll give Terrifier three. Easy two thumbs up. Man, this one's tough. I have been holding um, Late Night with the Devil at my number one spot all year. And overall, it's a, it's just one of the coolest movies I've seen in so long. And I think Terrifier may have put it down a notch. And honestly, I wouldn't want to say Terrifier 3 is my favorite film of the year. I, I don't want to say that. I don't. <laughs> um, we we still got Nosferatu to look forward to. We, there's not much horror left coming this year. I mean, the year's almost up. We got Nosferatu. And I am looking forward to it. And I think it's going to bring a lot to the table. But it's like, you know, we've had so many movies like, like Long Legs, uh, cuckoo um shit there's been so many but late night with the devil is my number one and i think terrifier three just may have just like drove the nail in the coffin i, I don't know what nosferatu is going to bring i'm really into that but we will see when the time comes but as of right now i think terrifier three may have just went to the top of my list so and i don't know why i don't want it to be at the top of my list it's nothing against terrifier i'm very proud and happy horror fan for all this but it's just a, it's, you know it's just a dirty slasher gory slasher it's a popcorn movie it's it's fun and i guess it's been so long since i've seen one that's so good a good slasher like this that i'm not i wasn't ready for it and it's like oh these artsy horror films no sorry y'all didn't do what terrifier did so anyway that's all I gotta say. Go watch the movie, man. It's really cool. Don't miss out in the theaters because, dude, it's just a good experience. It is a theater film. Uh, I didn't get the chance to see two in the theater because it didn't come where I live. But, um, yeah, really fun. I'm definitely gonna go watch it again and maybe again. So, that being said, y'all go watch the movie. Love you, kids. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs down. Hit the bell hit the subscribe button got new stuff coming this week i got more stuff and next week and next week and next week and next week